Hello, I wanted to bring this review to you about my Compresso coffee maker. I just bought it about a week ago, where it showed up about a week ago, and I'm very happy with it. This is it right here. It's a Compresso Coffee Team Pro Plus. I got it at Compresso's website for $200. See, I got the one on the right. The one on the left is the same machine, but it has a thermal uh, carafe with it. I like the glass carafes because I can see if I get it clean when I wash it. So, I've been making these these dark Kirk, Costco Kirkland dark roast oily beans in it. And this has a an oily bean button right here. That's off. And that's on it'll stay on as long as you don't push it again and that's for oily beans uh, it comes with a a brass filter little button right here and it springs open it's got a bean hopper on it that you can actually remove let's say I want to change back to my dark beans I just twist this take it off, dump my beans out, put this back on. And while you have this off, if you turn that knob over to release, it allows you to take the grinder out. I think you can see that little, that little metal thing right there, just pulls it out like a basket. And then you can clean the grinder. You couldn't do that on my last Compresso machine, so I really like that feature. Just put the top. I have a uh, medium roast in it now. Um, I go back and forth. And using medium roast, I of course turn the, turn the oily bean feature off. And then I switch this to medium grind. On the dark roast, I just turn it to coarse grind which is what you want to use for oily beans. It basically slows the grinder down for oily beans, gives them time to drop down in it from what I was able to find out. So we'll put it back on. And you got, if you want to grind them really fine, you can put it on fine. But I keep it on medium for medium roast and coarse for dark roast. And then whenever you're ready to brew, you just make sure, if you're making six cups of, coffee you keep this on six this is a grinder uh, setting for the cups it goes up to 12 cups two four six right now I'm doing uh, uh, six cups of grinding the beans and I'm putting eight cups of water in the reservoir back here it, you can remove it but I'm gonna leave it attached because I use filtered water only I filter my own water and uh, so it's nice to be able to remove it and wash it if I ever ever have to because I could not do that on my older Compresso machine. I had that other one for many years. I only used dark roast oily beans in the other one and it never really gave me a problem. However, recently the reason I bought this one is because the other one had a little plastic window, viewing window on the top. You'd slide the plastic thing off and you could see down in the chute the beans were grinding way back here in the corner and they had to go down a chute to get to the basket and eventually I think the oils from the dark beans started slowing down the grounds from getting down that chute so uh, I ran some uh, minute rice which is basically softer pre-boiled rice uh, just the minute, minute rice brand from the grocery store. I filled the hopper on that one a few times and grinded it. And it cleaned out the grinder pretty good and started working again. But we wanted to upgrade to this unit because it's better than the one we had. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? This is the Mercedes Benz of coffee makers on a budget. If you want to excellent i mean excellent machine for two hundred dollars this is the one you can't go wrong at that price uh 
this is their top model that has a grinder on top and they have one below that that has the round it's a round grinder that you cannot remove it's way back in the corner which i i thought was a poor design because the the grind grinded beans had to travel through a little hallway to get to the basket which uh eventually started giving me trouble so this is the mercedes benz of coffee makers and I'll tell you why. Not only is it easy to just whip this out and clean it, and the other one had that too. We actually used filters in the other one instead of this. We used paper filters. But so far we're using this. So I just take this out after it makes a pot of coffee in the morning and I dump it in the garbage and I go wash it and I leave it on the counter all day to dry. And then I take a paper towel and I wipe up the water here and close it and I stick the paper towel down in there and then I close it. And then later, later on in the evening, we'll take the pot, we'll pull the crap out, and uh, give it a clean and stick it back in there. And you're ready to go as long as you have beans in the hopper. And you just take this off and put more in it. Now this has to be closed all the way or the machine will not come on. And you'll know because when you push the brew button, that's what's going to grind the beans and start the coffee machine. If this lid is not on, it'll go beep, 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 and it won't start grinding. So you just reach up and push it, just push it down, and then push the brew button, and it's gonna grind six cups right now. And then I'm gonna have eight cups of water back there. And the reason I do six cup grind to eight cups of water is because if I do an eight cup grind to eight cups of water, it's gonna make a very, very strong cup of coffee. And I don't really like my coffee that strong if you want to wake up quickly i would make it that way because it makes a very strong cup of coffee now that was with the dark roast beans with these medium roast beans i'm just now trying these and so far it was also making a very strong cup so i back back down the grind to be below the cups of water um, if you go eight cup grind I would put 10 cups of water unless you just make a like a really strong cup of coffee. Do eight and eight. Um, but we're doing eight cups because that's enough for us. And I set the grinder on six. And then I just push the brew button in the morning when I wake up and walk away. It's going to grind twice. It's going to grind your beans, deposit the grounds into the basket for you. And then it's going to turn off. And then the grinder is going to come back on for about another maybe 10 seconds. And what that's doing is it's cleaning the, the, the bean hopper door has been closed to not allow any more beans in the hopper or, or beans come out of the hopper into the grinder. And then it grinds for about another 10 seconds. And that's basically cleaning what's left in the grinder out. Um, that way the grinder's nice and clean for your next cup. Let's say uh, sometimes you like to try different different types of beans that's a good feature for this for this machine because the clean the clean uh, the cl the the grinder cleaning function on this will get everything out of the grinder for you. You just take the hopper off, dump the beans out, and put your new bean whatever beans you're going to try in it now. And then when you do the grind, it's only going to have those beans in the grinder. Just to make sure uh, your grinder is clean once a day. Later on in the day, after I on the machines turned off I touch the auto button this one and the ground coffee button right there just push both of them uh, let me see I'll, I'll go ahead and do it to show you it's gonna clean the grinder and that's just getting the, the leftover grounds and uh, maybe any particles of beans out of that grinder so watch when I look in there you shouldn't see anything no there's nothing in there there, there was nothing left in it to, to come out so uh, it cleans out pretty good after your initial grind it stops then comes back on by itself before it brews the pot of coffee and that basically cleans it pretty well however I noticed with the dark roast beans from Costco those are the Kirkland dark roast that they sell at Costco. I noticed with those, 
after I'm done drinking my pot of coffee in the morning and the machine's turned off, I'll come over and I'll do the clean feature once and there'll be a like, like a little pile of grounds down in that basket that was still left in there. And I think the reason that is is because those beans are oily. So the oily is hanging them up in there. Uh, with these medium roast beans, once that, that second grind comes on in the morning, you can do it again later, but nothing's going to come out because all of the beans, the, the medium roast, will actually exit the grinder, which is great. Now keep the medium roast on medium grind. Put your water in here. Only use filtered water uh, for best results. That way your city water will not clog up. The, the machine and, uh, and cause it to calcify on you. And let me see, uh, $200 I think out the door with ship uh, with tax from Compresso.com was around 220. This is the Mercedes Benz of coffee makers for $200. It's well worth the money. Um, this will be my go-to coffee maker. Every time I have a, a different kitchen, like at work, if I want a coffee maker at work, it's gonna be another one of this unit. Uh, this is just a great unit. So this here, it'll steam out, all the steam comes out here. The other one I had, it was up here, and uh, it will sometimes get, leave a lot of water sitting on top. So they moved the steamer thing over here, the little vent on the side, which is good. Um, I think that's about it. So after after I'm done drinking my coffee in the morning, the one thing I do to keep this thing, the maintenance low on this, is I go ahead and empty the basket, wash it out, and then I'll leave it on the counter all day to dry. And I'll do the same to the, uh, to the carafe. And then I'll take a paper towel and I'll, uh, this will have water all over it from the steam and I'll just dry that up and I'll put the paper towel there and then I'll just sometimes I'll leave it open sometimes I'll close it and then later in the evening when I'm ready to set it up for, for tomorrow morning I'll just open this sometime there'll be a little bit of water left and I take that same paper towel and I just wipe it and then we're good to put the basket back in there close it put the clean craft in there and now you're ready to make a coffee, a cup of a pot of coffee in the morning, simply by coming in your kitchen and pressing the brew button. Now, if for any chance you don't have beans, or you just don't want to use beans for a while, and you want to use like a can of Folgers ground coffee because it may be cheaper, you can do that with this machine. You would hit the ground coffee button and watch. You see, a little scoop shows up there. And with that turned on, you then hit the brew button. But if you do this, you want to preload your filter with your ground coffee from your Folgers can. So keep your little, you know, your grounds over here in your Folgers can. You can scoop your grounds in there and then close it up. Put your crap and then you would still hit the brew button. The only difference is now the grinder is not going to come on. As long as this this is turned on, the grinder will not come on. It'll just start making coffee. The other thing I like about this machine, it makes the hottest cup of cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. When you pour it in your coffee cup, you can't hold the side of your coffee cup. You have to use the handle because the coffee is so hot, it will burn your hand, your fingers if you try to hold the cup and you're gonna drop it. So we always put refrigerated creamer in our coffee. So it brings it down to the perfect temperature for drinking it. Um, if you just drink it black, just know this, it will be extremely hot. Uh, the last Capresso, the last two Capresso machines we had, it did not make the coffee that hot. It made it hot, but not as hot as this machine. This is an excellent machine for making hot, very strong coffee. And you basically, again, you control the strongness of it by the grind that you do versus the water. You always want your water higher than the grind 
if you don't like real strong coffee. If you like real strong coffee and you like, let's say, eight cups of coffee in the morning, a full pot or 10, just you know, put that on 10. You're gonna grind 10, 10 cups of beans and you wanna put 10 cups of water in here. But if you don't like your coffee all that strong, I would just do, let's say you're gonna do an eight cup pot. I would do a six grind for an eight cup pot or an eight grind for a 10 cup pot. And that's gonna make the coffee not super strong. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave this in six because that's what I'm gonna do in the morning. And if you wanna just make yourself, uh, uh, say a, a cup in the evening time, I do that. And these cups that I have, These cups that I use are basically, these are 16 ounce, they believe. So if I grind two cups of beans and put, see two cups of water in there, it's gonna make a little bit more than this 16 ounce cup. It's gonna fill this cup and it's gonna have a little bit left in it. So. My other coffee maker, for some reason, the older Capresso didn't do too well on making a two cup pot, but this one actually does very well. Um, actually, what I would do is I would I would grind two, two cups of beans and put four cups of water in it, and that would make the perfect cup of coffee for me. Um, if you like it real strong, you just match the number of the grind to the amount of water that you put in it and then you'll be very happy. Uh, this machine makes the hottest coffee of any coffee pot that I've had my entire life. And I'm pushing 60 years old, so I've been around for a while drinking coffee. And this machine right here for $200, well worth it, well worth it.